Erosion and weathering. Weathering is the breaking down of rocks into small pieces. So if we have a big rock, weathering is when it gets broken down into little tiny pieces. And erosion is when those small pieces get carried away. There are two general categories of weathering, mechanical weathering and chemical weathering. Mechanical weathering is when the rocks are broken down by a physical force, like ice wedges, pressure release, water, air, and plant roots are all examples of mechanical weathering. Here's a picture of weathering as ice freezes in the cracks of a rock. So this was once a big rock, and once the ice froze it, it's now going to be broken into much smaller fragments of rock. Chemical weathering is when the actual chemical makeup of the rock changes. Oxidation is an example, and that's when rust forms. Acids can also dissolve rocks. Here's a rock that we can guess has been dissolved by chemical erosion. So it was once a big rock, and we assume that acids in the water carved out all of these little holes. And so now, all the pieces that were once filling these holes are little pieces of sediment somewhere created by weathering. Erosion is when the rocks that have been broken down by weathering, so all those tiny pieces, are carried away, often by water. The Grand Canyon is a classic example of water erosion. The Colorado River and wind both contributed to the canyon forming. So they caused weathering, which broke down all of the pieces that once filled in this valley or canyon. And then erosion from water carried them away out of the canyon.